My setup is a little janky today, but uh, my um, table here is full of socks and uh, I wanted to talk about them. <laughs> anyway, hi. Um, about a year ago, exactly, well not exactly, about a year ago in like two weeks, uh, I picked up small circular needles for the first time and I decided I wanted to make socks. Uh, I got some... Um, like, you know, some people to encourage me along the way and uh, push me through this because I was terrified of knitting socks. I had had a um, previous very unsuccessful attempt a couple of years ago where I just didn't, um, how do I say, I didn't want to bother with the gauge <laughs> and my sock became giant. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I can't knit socks, even though I did. I knit the whole sock and it was just too floppy and, and dramatic. So last year, uh, I found the courage again to uh, attempt and make some socks for myself and friends. Uh, and uh, fast forward today, <laughs> like a year and some weeks later, I have, according to Ravelry, uh, some some twenty four ish pairs of socks. Some of them are complete, obviously. Most of them are complete, actually. But some of them are just the one sock that I've been knitting in the past uh, month or so. Like I've been finishing up a whole lot of. Um, socks that I've started uh, prior to the summer and then going back home for a bit and then pick those back up when I came here. So for the most part, uh, yeah, I have everything all lined up here. Like I wish I could show you all of this like as a, a cluster, but um, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll show and tell uh, about, about all the socks in it. I hope this is interesting. So anyway, um, I actually do not have the first pair of socks. The first pair of socks were these here. Uh, I followed, I believe it was Winwick Mum's uh, blog on how to knit a sock with a, with a classic uh, heel flap and gusset. Uh, and uh, I, I wanted them to be striped. I didn't know at the time that there was such a thing as a striped, like a self-striping sock. And I really wanted to knit striped socks, so I knit them myself strapping them along the way. I wanted it to be kind of random and I uh, enjoyed it a lot. I really like striping socks myself. Uh, the thing is, I wasn't really too keen on uh, the jog that forms. Like, I, I didn't know how to remove that or minimize it. Obviously, you can't like completely remove it uh, in the round. Uh, but uh, I tried to minimize it to, to my best uh, capabilities. <laughs> and I don't have a photo to show you how that jog looks, but the photos that I will probably insert here as I'm talking are gonna be of the completed sock and some steps along the way. These went to my best. <laughs> Thank you for taking the first of everything when I make them. Uh, truthfully, they're not my best, uh, but I hope she enjoys them. I hope they haven't fallen apart. Like, I don't know, she treats everything that I get her so, uh, like she cherishes it so, so, so respectively that uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just happy about it. <laughs> I'm happy to give her my first socks. Right after that, like the moment I basically finished that first ever pair of socks. I made myself my first pair of socks, which were basically the same thing. Well, not I didn't stripe them, but they are striped. Uh, I finally found <laughs> at the time. I picked up uh, a skein of yarn, just a single skein of yarn uh, that was, I don't remember the brand. It's like a whatever, some cheapish, cheaper uh, German sock, like a sturdy, robust German sock brand. And I made myself these guys. I hope the camera picks these up. From here, I look. they look really crispy. <laughs> the, the focus looks really crispy. So, the same kind of idea. Uh, classic uh, heel flap and gusset, top down. I had a second uh, contrasting color here, this brown. I thought it worked well. I didn't have at the time too many um, uh, fingering weights, sock yarns uh, to, to knit anything with. So, I had like a couple of solid colors and I picked myself a couple of... Um, these uh, self striping and patterned um, yarns, and yeah, uh, this is th these are made completely with the one fifty gram uh, skein of yarn uh, in this like patterning. It's not exactly very symmetrical. Like sometimes the colors pulled in a weird way. But it's whatever. It's my first pair of socks. And I actually really enjoyed making them, um, and uh, I'm kind of surprised that I managed to pull out like a whole pair of socks with just the one skein plus uh, however much the contrasts to these are. I believe these socks weigh like about 65 grams. So f f minus 50 for the one skein that all went into making this and the rest is the toes, uh, heel flap and the cuffs. So yeah, uh, immediately <laughs> after finishing these, I was, I was um, 
hosting my friend Melina in, in Germany. Uh, and I had brought enough yarn for myself to basically cast on another pair of socks because it was so much fun to knit them. It's so, it was, and it is still so portable to like uh, bring these socks wherever I go. And I casted on my first helical striped sock. Uh, this is, these are them. <laughs> they are made with, I think it's called Grundel. Just like a, it's one of, again, one of those like common, common brands of uh, German yarn you can find in the web, web stores here or even in physical stores. And that's for this dark green color, which is my contrasting color and uh, the color that appears uh, on every other round for the helical stripe. And uh, this is my first time making an afterthought heel, which for a while had my whole, my, it had a really hard, uh, like strong clench on my little heart. I'm, I kept knitting afterthought heels like there was no tomorrow. I really am not a heel flap and gusset kind of person, so uh, I, um, I very quickly stopped doing <laughs> I just don't enjoy the process of it uh, and uh, thinking about it too much. So yeah, uh, the color for, like the this marled color that you see that's not... Uh, symmetrical on both the socks is actually I think uh, a Drops Fable like one of Drops Fable's uh, colorways that's like I think long print it's called long print if you're very interested in having the same sock as me uh, so this is called long print and yeah that's 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 pretty much it uh, very very much the same in terms of like the whole cast on procedure here I cast on 64 stitches for pretty much all of my socks um, and uh, my thought back then was um, you know, I just followed whatever other every, everyone else was doing. The thing is, though, this is kind of um, like tight on my um, ball of my foot, so where the the widest part where my heel is. Like this has a hard time going through there, and it it was a bit of a like a hurdle. Like it's it's always a hurdle, like with these socks, especially with the older pairs. And I'm not too happy about it, uh, but I don't want to go back and change these cuffs to something more stretchy. Now that I've been knitting um, toe-up socks since uh, the beginning of May-ish, like around that time I started knitting toe-up socks, I've started uh, finishing off these with a much stretchier cast-off edge or making it uh, double-folded hem, which is like, it's my new passion, I love it so much. <laughs> like everything is a double-folded uh, hem now for all of my future socks. But yeah, uh, this is the only the only issue that I have with these. Otherwise, I really like them. They're very they're very fun. Uh, I I enjoy helical stripe a whole lot, and a whole lot of my socks are helically striped. Um, which I don't know if, if I should explain what that is. But it's basically you hold um you hold the two strands of color. Uh, you knit one round, and then three stitches before uh, changing the color, you just slip the stitches on your right hand needle, and then you pick up the other. Color. It's kind of like magic. I still can't understand how it works. I just do it. <laughs> As it's as it's supposed to be done uh, and it just keeps spiraling like the two yarns just keep chasing each other until you are done with your sock so yeah this is this is that right after like my laptop fell asleep right after uh, it was about so I started in October um, it was soon Christmas and I was I had the 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 big uh, sort of how do I say like I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to give their own socks for Christmas, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't knit as many socks as I wanted to give, but I did knit my mom some socks and I have no photo of them. <laughs> I got some uh, gift yarn and it was like some sort of remnants, <laughs> some scraps uh, here and there. One of the yarns was like incredibly um, like eaten through it seems. <laughs> as I rolled it into the bowl, there was like a lot of tears in there, but I, I made them for my mom and she's really happy with like, wearing them to bed. Uh, the only picture that I have of them is this one. Uh, it's a... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it, I striped them. Uh, the, the the one is the like the pink yarn is very space dye. I striped that one with. I think I did the cuffs, the heels. No, the cuff and the toe are that pink. The orange was used for like a stripe, a single stripe every four um, rounds of that space dye. I don't know. I just tried to like make it a little bit more interesting than just uh, you know knitting it uh, like the solid color. Um, right after that, I knit my boyfriend some socks. Uh, can I get a phrase, please? Uh, I knit my boyfriend some socks, which are... I mean, I want to I wanna show them, but they're not washed. He didn't wash them, so they're, like, just sitting over here on the other side of this divider. And I don't want to show you how, like, kind of, like, worn they seem. <laughs> but they've held up well. I only have this, like, little photo that I'm going to share here uh, that is of the socks as I was knitting them. And you can just basically see it's another gifted yarn that I got. And it's, um... It's like this very 
it's actually really pretty. Like, I wish I had more colors of this. It's a eight ply yarn, which I now have learned that I hate knitting with. It's very uncomfortable. It, it cramps my hands a lot. I didn't think that would be such an issue, but it was. I didn't enjoy knitting these socks, but I, I already had the yarn and I wanted to like, use up as much of it as I could. And I knit basically the whole sock of this like blue yarn, except for those like two stripes that you see at the, uh, of the, what are they called? <laughs> what is it called above your, it's ankle, <laughs> at your ankle. I knit those two like white stripes at the ankle and I made them with like whatever, I think it's Holstgar and like cotton slash wool mix. I don't know, it shrunk a little bit, but it's fine. It's in the sock, it, like it stretches out a little bit. Knit the same for the toes, use the same white for the toes. Uh, right after that, I I made some Christmas ornaments, which are these. I mean, I don't have, I think I only have a photo of one. I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm not really clicking on my projects right now. I knit uh, two of these little socks, which was very fiddly work on, on DPNs. It's like, because I only use two DPNs. I don't really um, space out my stitches on four. So that was very fiddly work, but I really wanted to have them as Christmas ornaments. And I did, and I enjoyed it. And uh, I think now we're going into like January. Uh, at this point, I already have knit like a few, a few, a few uh, good pairs, and I've learned a little bit more. But I um, was still doing a lot of um, afterthought heels. And thinking back on it now, it was just because heels kind of they didn't intimidate me, but they weren't super fun. So I always left them for at the end to do. Even though the afterthought here is basically making a toe, like a toe, like this part, but here, whatever. So I made these socks. And these socks, I had, like, in my mind, I thought they would look way more different than they did. And this is a first for me. I usually can imagine pretty well what a sock would turn out. But I really just didn't like the pulling. Like, I love how this part here looks. And I hate how this part here looks. Like, that it's just, like, staggered on like that. Like, why'd you do that? Why are you, why'd you do that? And also this yarn was, it's like another commercial, Schonemeyer, Sch not good with the names, another commercial German yarn, and this bled so much, like even in like lukewarm water, this like dark brown color bled so much that it actually tinted my uh, otherwise cream beige uh, cuff. I mean, you can see it as cream beige, but it's very much darker than what you can than what you see here and uh yeah these socks are now kind of big so they're gonna be for someone's gift this year and uh, i don't know if i said already but now that it's been a year since i've started knitting socks now i actually have like a decent amount to gift away um i i am very dedicated <laughs> Let's see. no i just really like knitting socks but um yeah i'm gonna plan I plan to gift away a lot of this stash. I'm kind of already kind of overwhelmed with how many I have. I have two little boxes for like where to keep them, like sock drawers. Uh, and uh, they're already overflowing. So uh, Christmas can't come, come uh, soon enough. <laughs> so right after that, I remember, so this is, I don't know why I said January. Maybe I finished them in January and that's why I'm thinking. Um, right after that was around the Christmas period, exactly at Christmas. And Christmas time is the time that I watch, we, that uh, me and my boyfriend, we watch the Lord of the Rings, the whole thing, all of the movies, like the three hour versions. And uh, these are the socks that I knit throughout all of those three movies. And uh, they are sort of, um, I guess you can say Hobbit colors. I don't know, but that's how I remember them. And I really enjoyed making this uh, colorway. I still have 50 grams of this. Like I, I keep, using only about 50 grams when making socks like these that are that are self-striped and i actually did i yeah i matched them look at that i i actually matched the the the, the, the what do you want to call it the patterning the patterning of the of the self-stripe yarn and it wasn't meant to i think i did discard a little bit of the yarn on one on one end to start the other but yeah i really love how they turned out they're very cute um at this point already, I was kind of confident, I guess, I was going to look for it, but it's not here. At this point, I was kind of confident in uh, sock knitting, and I really wanted to try knitting some um, uh, color work socks. Uh, and I started with a very simple one, which is like a checkered. Like, I think it's either four by four, like four rounds. Let me just see. Why am I, like, trying to puzzle it out here? It's... Uh... <laughs> Five rounds by five by five stitches for these uh, checkered socks, uh, and I use the self striping yarn for the color, and then just like white for the for the other part. And I gifted those again to my bestie. Uh, 
the reason for that was more intentional. Like I was trying to knit socks for her. Uh, and also it's because she has like a super tiny foot. Uh, it's less knitting for me. So whenever I try to experiment, <laughs> I just know that I can, I just need to knit, I just need to knit a smaller size of something to see what it's like to learn it. And then I can just give it to her. <laughs> anyway, I knit these socks for her. Uh, they turned out pretty good. I do have to note that they are, I did cast on 64 stitches, even though her foot is smaller than mine. And I, I usually cast 64 for myself. But since there's color work, they, like, you know, color work tends to be like a little bit, like the stitches shrink on themselves a little bit because of the pull of the floats on the back. Uh, and I also, while knitting them on 2.5 for the, the cuff, the heel, and the toes, for the rest of the color work, I knit everything on 3 millimeters, which is kind of like my go-to rule now, unless I... In, unless it's too little of color work to change and then I can just like sort of maintain how spaced out my stitches are uh, But yeah, this is what I did for these socks. I switched to three millimeters for the color work and it ended up looking good I also made her um, a custom <laughs> a custom uh, Sock blocker because they were kind of like little shrunken up when when pre-washed uh, So I made a custom sock blocker out of just like her measurements and like cardboard <laughs> Which works it actually works like it, the thing is the the wet sock uh, I throw it in the washing machine for the centrifuge so it like drains up but then you can just like stretch it out over a cardboard and it's fine the cardboard can get a little wet over time but then it just dries out it's just amazing <laughs> so anyway that is that sock oh my god I've already been talking for 16 minutes and there's like so many more I'm gonna try and like go speedily through the next ones but if not <laughs> this is gonna be a long video so sorry about that <laughs> Um, these are the next socks that I knit for myself these are, I want to just like uh, home socks that I could sleep in or uh, I don't know, just like warmer socks because the other ones are all fingering weight yarn, but this is fingering held double. I also wanted to like uh, use up some of these. Um, I think I've talked about it in a previous video about this sock. I wanted to use up these sort of like space sides that I have. Please focus. It doesn't? It's focusing on me. Uh, I wanted to use up these space ties, spacey, spacey sort of like marled uh, yarns that I have, which are, I think, 40% cotton and the rest is wool. They felt it a little bit, but it's fine. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's what that's what these socks are. Very heavy, but they are very warm. Uh, again, a reminder of how I do not like knitting uh, with more than four ply, like more than the standard um, uh, sock yarn, and it's, it's really crampy. I don't enjoy it. I don't recommend it. Um, up next, I picked up this very fun colorway and knit myself these socks. Not much, not much else to say. I think I, again, only used 50 grams of the whole 100 grams gain. So I have 50 more of these. Uh, and uh, the orange parts are the only extra added color here for the contrast. Oh, I think I also added like a different white here, like an off-white. Because I really wanted it to have a top white cuff before it starts, before the patterning starts. That was pretty cute. And then... Uh, in a very bold moment of confidence, I knit these colorwork socks, now that I've had uh, at least one pair behind my back, uh, and these fit me very well. And uh, they are kind of, how much did I cast on here? It says that I cast on 72 stitches for these, on 2.5, and I knit the cuff for 3.5 centimeters, blah, 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 knit the polka dots. It doesn't say, I don't think I did three millimeters for these for the color work. I just casted on the 72 stitches and that is how I proceeded throughout the whole the whole thing. And they turned out really nice. I'm really happy with them. I also, uh, I love um, not matching the socks completely because it gives me more room to sort of experiment. gives me more room to uh, play around with the colors and to not like knit the exact same thing twice. And I think that's basically why I... Uh, I make them like that, <laughs> just like slightly off, they're like slightly different, it's cute. So, oh my god, I'm like talking for like 20 minutes straight. Um, next up, oh wow, well, not too many to go, I don't know, these are not in uh, an order anymore, they're just in order of completion or maybe an order of I started, but I think I've shown you these before, these are my first ever color work uh, design, I guess I could say, color work design that I've made myself, uh, which is like these uh, mushrooms, acorns, and little leaves, and um, they are inspired by a lot of pixel art. <laughs> like I just saw a lot of pixel art online that I really liked and uh, fiddled with it to make my own little design, uh, and uh, just made myself these, uh, can you not focus on my face, focus on my sock, I uh, made myself this uh, cute little 
cute little mushroom sock. Uh, I also have the other one here. And I also wanted to sort of uh, share the pattern or rather the chart. But I keep not finding the time to do it because, you know, you want to sit down, you want to make like a nice little, nice little fancy document and show your sock, take photos. I don't have good photos of this just yet. Uh, but if it's, if people are, like if people really want to make them, I can just release the, like the little, the little chart in my like stories or community tab or whatever it's called here on YouTube. So yeah, the, that's these. Uh, I also have somewhere, I can't find it. I've tried making another, um color combination of these uh, and then I washed it with another pair of socks and it bled tremendously and it tinted all of the white sock that it, I had made these in white with brown it tinted it pink because the other one was red so that was a big like goof on my part <laughs> and I'm really bummed about it and I want to just undo the whole sock I don't even want to make the other the second one so it's like a tragedy struck anyway that's these socks um next up here it says I have this whip that I started and I only have the one sock uh, of it which is uh, this one it's um it's a gifted yarn or rather like we traded uh with with a with a, with a sweet little lady from uh, France I think and uh she sent me this like really fun uh yellowish yarn Let me focus again on it she sent me this really fun yellowish yarn that I just wanted to stripe uh two by two 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 white stripes into the yarn that she sent me and then I made afterthought heels, pre-planned afterthought heels. And, the and, and I don't have the other sock because the other sock is the one that I take out on walks. And I've really not been knitting socks in the past half month. I've just been working on the sweater that I'm going to show you later. Not, not in this video, just like in the future. <laughs> so it's been long enough. So that's what this sock is. And then I knit this pair of socks, which is the one that bled. <laughs> this, is the, this is the culprit. This red part here is the coffin that bled. But uh, I remember showing you this uh, yarn when I purchased it um, sometime around Christmas and I thought it was like a Christmas color, but it wasn't. Uh, I mean, you can kind of think it's winter, yeah, but it wasn't what I was thinking. I thought the blue was a, like a, a minty green, basically. But, but yeah, this was meant for, for kids. I didn't know that. This was uh, meant to be for kids. Like it was 60 grams of a skein and uh, it was pre-planned on how you're supposed to knit it, yada yada. Uh, but I, I I made it for an adult human foot. So uh, this is going to be one of the gifts that I give this, this Christmas that I give to someone. Right after that, I knit myself these guys. I started, it was warm enough that I started knitting outside on my walks. And these are the ones that I knit. And this is also the first time I knit the Fliegel heel. Look at that. It's so nice. It's such a, it's such a comfortable fit too. I just don't enjoy increasing. Like mindlessly increasing is not my thing. I, I have to be focused for where I need to increase... Uh, the gusset here uh but these turned out so nice i'm super happy with them uh the 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 fliegel heel is incredibly fun to knit and they're very comfortable if you have a big uh foot uh, circumference here where that your heel is supposed to be so yeah uh for these the dark brown is not part of the the, the main colorway and the white is also not part of it I'm just i just wanted the sock that looked like this <laughs> but it's very cute i like it a lot i like the patterning so much on these yeah uh, this, by the way, the pile is growing, like soon it's gonna like show up here. And uh, that's what these socks were about. Then I had like this, this urge for another helical stripe sock. Uh, and I made these, which are just tubes. They are, they are just all made of completely of scraps. I still have like my stitch markers to remind me where to put the heels. Uh, but these are all made of scraps that I've woven in uh, as I knit. And the blue is, uh, it's like, so hard to explain. The... The blue is blue, right? Like this is just like a simple dark navy. Same for here. But the blue that you see here, that's going through this, can you focus please? Yeah. The blue that you see here is a blue that has like a like a speck of some other color, like a neony color every once in a while. And that's what this is. And then I just tried to like take inspiration from whatever color I was uh, specking here and there to uh, add the other ones, which are mostly scraps. Uh, and this is, this is what it turned out like. And uh, I can see my, my my camera is again annoyed that I've passed the 20 minute mark so it might shut up like real soon so see you in a bit. Anyway, so saying, these are the socks that uh, I have not finished out of all of this like in, 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 in this giant giant pile and it's because I don't know who to gift them to yet and uh, once I figure that one out, once I figure who's gonna be the recipient, I'm just gonna insert a heel somewhere in here. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know how these will hold up because the way that I've like 
Frankenstein. <laughs> Frankenstein, the, the threads is like, I just like wove them, wove one through the other and like the little uh, yarn ends are just sticking out. And I just like sort of brush them and wash them and hope that they felt over time. Uh, I don't know how that will go. Uh, I would hate to give this to someone and it just like falls apart. But so far it's like held up well. It's super grippy. Like the yarn is super grippy. So I'm pretty sure that uh, it'll be fine. It should be fine. <laughs> it should be fine. So yeah, uh, that's these socks. I kind of want to like, remove them now. Like, put them in one of these boxes so that there's room. Ooh. Next, I I started on this pair here. I've had this sock, this yarn, for the longest time. It was yarn that I bought prior to knowing what kind of yarn sock yarn is. Or rather, I mean, I had an idea because it says sock, sock yarn on it, but I, I, I've never used it because I've never knit socks. But it was in my stash and it was the only sock yarn that I had in my stash. And I decided to finally open it up and use it. And it's super precious to me. I really enjoy it. It's, uh, it's a flaky sort of speckled tweety yarn, uh, but the speckles are all blue and red and yellow. And I thought that was like very childlike, very cute. And I made these socks with it, which are made with a broken, I think it's called broken rib i've already talked about it before because like i'm gonna like speed through the next few socks here i already talked about it before i brought home didn't have enough of the red yarn so i just or at all i forgot to bring the red so i just knit the other one with yellow i think they're really cute and uh yeah they're very precious to me i like them a lot what's next uh, <laughs> some of the socks that i knit on my trip in europe when i was traveling this uh end of may uh, with a very, very special speckled yarn that I got as a trade with uh, another cute, uh, sweet lady. Is it gonna focus? No? Eh, I mean, it's trying. Anyway, I've shown you these before, so there's, I'm not gonna like uh, linger too much on them. I still haven't worn them because they feel so precious to me. Can you like focus a little bit? Anyway, uh, what else do I have? I have these, which I don't think I've shown you before. These are also very, very scrappy socks. If I can find the other one. Where is it? Where are you? I don't know where it is. <laughs> I don't know where it went. There's too many socks here. Anyway, I'm just going to show you the one sock. The other one is similar, but not exactly. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a completely scrappy pair of socks. And you can see how I've... Um, knit it, uh, how I've joined the yarns here. So I think this is the same thing. I just like go through one of the yarn strands and the ends come out on the both sides. And then whatever is left, whatever is left of the yarn that's kind of double, I just knit with it. I just knit through it. And that's how these sorts of like areas form. It's not the prettiest thing, but the sock held up well. And I just enjoyed trying out something new. And I got to use a bunch of... Uh, little leftovers and tried to make a cohesive sort of color palette with them which is all right it turned out it turned out pretty fun so yeah uh that's these socks what else do i have i'm trying to go chronologically but it's not really chronological it's somewhat these are another pair i already showed you this again from my trip uh again a 50 gram skein was enough to make both of them with uh, the contrast color being the only one that i added uh then i have this pair of socks which i really 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 enjoy most of these have not been worn yet like it only got cold like in the past past two weeks uh and i still haven't worn them and i wanted all of these to be clean <laughs> so that i can show them to you and blocked so they look very crispy like this fella here very very nice again the the broken rib uh, pattern on it i really enjoy how this looks for all kinds of socks really and i'm also kind of lazy and i want to be able to knit mindlessly on them uh, up next is this pair, which I've also shown you before. It's with the uh, Wool Addict Footprints, I think, yarn, which is so pretty. I like this yarn so much. And I just saw that they've come out with uh, a few new colorways, one of which is like this really pretty um, maroony color. Um, another one is a very pretty green one and some blues and I think a really like saturated pink. But yeah, I really enjoy these uh, this yarn for socks and... Uh, these are pretty long, pretty big, 50 grams it took. Yeah, I think it took 50 grams to make both of them. I still have 50 left of it, it's because it's a 100 gram wool. So yeah, these are going for a friend for Christmas. And what do I still have here? These socks, for some reason, don't show up on my sock tag. I have to, I have to see about that. 
uh, another helical stripe, toe up, because uh, cause that's my new passion. I'm never going back. It seems like all of the soaks that I've started in the past, I don't know, few months have all been toe up soaks and I just enjoy it so much. And uh, my favorite heel is it's just in, in terms of how it's worked, not exactly my favorite in terms of fit. The, the Flegal heel is still the most comfortable one for me, but the when I'm feeling lazy, I just do the Shadow Wrap heel, which is what these are. And uh, yeah, uh, very much enjoying this pair. Never going back either on the on the, the double fold cuff. This is just so comfortable to wear and get through your widest part of your foot. I keep repeating myself. So that's that. And what else do I have here? Oh, uh, this pair. I don't know if I've shown this pair. Maybe I have. I don't know. I didn't see my last video before starting this one. So this is the other pair that I've knit uh, recently. I think I also started this one in uh, in Bulgaria and finished this, uh, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. Oh, so there boo -boo. I haven't shown you this because this is the boo-boo. Uh, I knit one round here. If you can focus so I can show my mistake won't focus on it. Anyway, I knit one round here <laughs> for this finishing contrasting color and two rounds on the other one. I just completely spazzed out and I uh, did not pay attention to that part and uh, now one of them is slightly thicker and the other one is slightly thinner and it's a sore, <laughs> it's super sore for me. Like I, I can't, I, every time I look at it I get a little fumy but I've already knit like the inside and I bound it off before I noticed it. So I'm not going back and changing it. So. Note to self, don't, don't do this. <laughs> at the very end. Okay, so you know how it's uh, supposed to be Socktober uh, this month? And that is how I learned about, or rather got excited about knitting socks last year. It's because I saw a bunch of tags about Socktober and I saw everyone's beautiful socks everywhere. Uh, and uh, this year I did actually cast a pair that I've been working through very blissfully throughout all of October. And this is it. This is it. This is this is like a, a dream soak pair. Like usually, I I just knit whatever I have available. I just knit whatever um, colorway I have with me, or or just like trying things out, experimenting. Not necessarily knitting socks for myself uh, all of the time. Like a lot of the pairs that I've knit are with the potential to be gifted, and that's why they're mostly brand new still. But this is a sock pair that I've made, or still the one sock, that I've made only for myself uh, with colors that I really love, uh, with colors that I've collected over the years that I've been keeping for this thing. And I'm super happy with how they turned out. Again, toe up, shadow wrap heel, and uh, uh, like, a, like a double folded uh, cuff here for my leg. So yeah, uh, this is gonna be my final sock. Finally reached the end here. And I still need to make the other one. And I'm again <laughs> gonna make it slightly alternatingly different here. And uh, I was I was actually thinking about knitting a sweater uh, similar to the Aro sweater from last year that I gifted to my mom. Or is it last year? Is it this year? I don't know. In the beginning. It was a while ago. <laughs> I made the sweater that's like a striped sort of... Uh, not asymmetrical but like no rhyme or reason to the arrangement of the colors similar to this sock and now I kind of want to make a like a, a cardigan like use the arrow sweater and make a cardigan that I will then stick <laughs> like my 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 uh, like obsession for a while now or not for a while but like in the past couple of weeks has been watching sticking videos and how people just like snip it through and then create a cardigan and I don't like knitting back and forth when it comes to cardigans so the 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 thing that I, I haven't like I haven't 100 percent uh, settled on it just yet, but I do want to make a cardigan in a similar palette to this one with uh, a stick, a uh, v-neck cardigan uh, that that sort of incorporates the the arrow sweater by Petit Net uh, with the um, what are they called? I keep thinking of a saddle. <laughs> it's something something saddle uh, construction for the shoulders. I'm, I'm, I'm zooming out. It's been a while. I've talked a, while, a lot. I need to drink something. So, I, I, I am, I am trying to figure out how I would hack the existing pattern to make myself a V-neck out of it while maintaining these stripes, while uh, making it like ho holding the yarns double because I do not want uh, like a very thin sweater. I do want it to be like, like at least a DK weight or like slightly above DK weight with the fingering yarns that I have here, and. Uh, 
can you can you tell me like your experience please <laughs> like i wanted to know if it's two yarns held together will it be grippy enough so that i can then stick it properly i do have a sewing machine i can always reinforce the seams so that's not a big issue for me uh but i'm just kind of afraid you know <laughs> it's i've never cut into yarn before i've never cut my garments to make a cardigan i kind of feel like i should try out like a little swatch first probably <laughs> but i also hate wasting right like i hate wasting my 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 knitting i hate wasting my yarn as well you know i have so much of it i should like allow myself some room to experiment so yeah thanks for sitting through all of that um i really wanted to show all of my socks so how to have like a dedicated video to this newfound love uh, that i've been basking in uh for the past year exactly well almost exactly one year of knitting socks and this is how much I got, uh, near 25 pairs. I wanna, just kind of round, rounding it up now, like including those itty bitty little ones, uh, I feel like. Yeah, just say 25. So yeah, thanks for joining me. Thanks for sticking through all of this. Uh, I hope I wasn't too busy and chatty, but there's not really much to say, but I keep like finding things to talk about them. So yeah, thanks for being here and I'll see you next time. I have a whole bunch of finished things that I wanna share, so. Bye for now. <laughs>